New victims in a sex abuse scandal that spans decades at the University of Michigan. Dozens more have come forward seeking justice, many of them former athletes. 7 Action News reporter Amira David spoke to their attorneys, who's headed to Michigan for another news conference tomorrow. That's right, the attorney tells me at this point he is working with over 40 different alleged victims and their goal is clear to uncover the truth and to hold the University of Michigan accountable. You know, Dr. Anderson was a expert manipulator. Malpractice attorney Parker Steiner speaking to 7 Action News about former U of M physician and alleged sexual abuser Dr. Robert Anderson. Today, Steiner saying his case has expanded dramatically, now representing over 40 individuals, one of which was part of a national champion football team at U of N, and another who went on to play in the NHL. The range of victims, sadly, is anywhere from teenagers up to adults in their 40s. Anderson worked for the university where he treated countless student athletes between 1968 and when he retired in 2003. He died in 2008, but it wasn't until a decade later that police opened an investigation, jump started by a letter from former U of M wrestler Tad DeLuca, who said his complaints directly to the university had gone unanswered. I spoke up by letter in July of 1975 and was ignored. I'm here today to speak up again to let the University of Michigan know that I will not be ignored again. Included in the disturbing allegations from DeLuca and several others are unnecessary testicle and rectal examinations by the doctor. Obviously for an 18 year old kid, there's no reason to give numerous rectal examinations within a year for concern of prostate cancer. In fact, there's no reason ever to give an 18 year old kid a rectal exam for prostate cancer. Steiner wants answers on what university officials actually knew about the ongoing abuse and questions the timing of a newly established hotline calling on more victims to come forward. In 2018, when they had access to this letter, why didn't they then start their hotline for victims? That's why did they wait? And the University of Michigan declined to further add to comment today. That hotline is still open. They say to date they have received 103 unique complaints from those accusing this doctor of sexual abuse, and they are still urging more to come forward. If you're interested in more information, we'll put the details on our website, WXYZ.com. In Ann Arbor, Amira David, 7 Action News.